Hello, my name is JT Tepley. I'm with LTech, and today I'm going to be answering a frequently asked question that our technical support team sometimes gets, and that is why is there no output from my reader? Today I'm using LTech's TWN4, which is our dual frequency NFC enabled all in one reader. And you can see I already have mine set up here, and my green light is on, so I'm ready to go. So let me first demonstrate the, the common problem that we sometimes get. So I want to scan this MyFair Classic card, and I want the unique ID or the UID to show up in a notepad file. So I gotta go ahead and scan my card, and you can see that the, the reader, or you can hear that the reader beeps, and then you could uh, see that the LED switches and it flashes red and it goes back to green, which is perfectly normal, but I did not get my desired UID to show up here. So more often than not, we find that the common solution is that you're using the incorrect firmware for your application. So let me explain. I'm gonna open up the development pack and then the app blaster, which is used to change the a reprogram which firmware image you have on your reader. So if I go up here to program apps and firmware images and select image, here's a list of all of the default firmware images that come in the development pack for the TWN4. If you want an in-depth look at what each of these uh, does, you want to look at the another video on Altex YouTube channel and that would be the types of firmware video. For this video and our purposes, I just want you to pay attention to either the notation KX or CX. KX is referring to keyboard emulation. So those are the firmware where the, the reader is emulating a keyboard and you're actually going to see the response in a notepad file or a word file or some program that accepts text. If you see CX, these are the firmware images where the, the uh, reader is communicating with the computer over a virtual COM port. So you're going to need some sort of terminal program to see what's being communicated. So um, in this example today, I can tell you I was using CDC standard when I should have been using keyboard standard. So the data was still being sent, I just couldn't see it. And you should know the other LED setups for the other firmware just, just in case. Uh, tra tech tracer mode behaves the same way. It'll have a green light until you badge your card. It'll flash red then switch back to green. Keyboard dump will have a constant red light. So if you're seeing a constant red light, you want to double check that you're not maybe perhaps in keyboard dump mode. And then simple protocol and logic transparent is two-way communication and you'll have no LED lights on. So again, if your reader is recognized by your computer, but you can't figure out why there's no light on, just double check that you're maybe using one of these firmware images when you don't want to be. Um, okay, so let me now switch it back to keyboard standard and click program image. So this again now is gonna put it in keyboard emulation mode and it just takes five to seven seconds to program and it'll be when it's done, there it goes. Let me pull up my notepad file again. I'll scan the same card. And now my UID does show up in my notepad file. So hopefully that solves your problem. If it does not, here is our email to our technical support team. You just want to send them a message and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. They may request an online meeting or a remote session uh, where they can see better see what's going on with your reader and get to the root of your problem. Once again, I'm JT Tepley with LTech. Thanks for watching.